Does your backhand lack power? Do your opponents send you scrambling around the court because they're picking on it? If that's the case, you're gonna love this video because I'm gonna show you one move that changes the game. Let's get started. Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here, and I had a great question from Max Powers 3732, and he says, can you explain more about the drop goes into the hit? I can't figure out how to time turning, taking my racket back, and dropping the racket before hitting, so I've been doing what you say not to do. With the way I'm hitting, I'm afraid I'm going to get injured. Does the drop happen without thinking about it while you're swinging, before or after? Max, that's a terrific question because it gets to the forefront of what creates power, which is racket head speed. So we know if a racket head is traveling fast towards the ball and it hits the ball cleanly, it's gonna produce a fast shot. That's just physics, right? I even learned that in high school. Okay, so if that's the case, how can we produce racket head speed? Well, one of the best ways to do that is to use gravity and momentum. Like at the top of a roller coaster, you get cranked up to the top and you allow gravity to create momentum and power you through the rest of the ride. But how do we do this? Well, as a coach who I had early on once said, you time it, that'll be $150. But seriously, if we take the backhand into the four most simple components and we just break it down into the simplest form, we would have the preparation, the backswing, the forward swing, and the finish. And because the finish takes care of itself if you get the first three right, let's just focus on those. By the way, this concept works both for the one-handed and the two-handed backhand. Now, Max asked about turning, which is a part of the preparation phase. And when should that happen? Well, ideally, it happens the moment you know that it's a backhand. And if you're using a split step, which I highly recommend as a timing mechanism, plus it looks cool, you should be able to be kind of in mid-hop. And then as you land, or as you're landing, you should have a pretty good idea of what side you're gonna be moving to. So as soon as you come down out of your split step, you're gonna start that turn. Now a key piece to this is as you're in the preparation phase, as you're turning, you want the racket tip up. Okay, if you're hitting a one-hand or a two-handed backhand, you want the racket tip up. Now what you don't wanna do is turn and get into this position here where the racket head is already down at the level of the ball or below the ball, because now you're starting from zero miles an hour and there's a greater risk of injury because you're trying to generate a lot of power from zero. Instead, we wanna use that racket tip up, which is gonna allow us to drop the racket. Now, during this preparation phase, ideally, we're also moving to the ball and we're watching the ball. And if you haven't watched my video on watching the ball yet, you should definitely do it because it'll really help you. And I'll link to that video uh, right up above here. Now, during the backswing, you're gonna to wanna to rise up into the hit a little bit Okay? The reason we do this is we want to be symmetrical to what we're doing on the forehand. And personally, I just prefer the rhythm of having a little bit of a circle, a little bit of a loop. You can kind of go straight back, more like Djokovic, but I just like the loop for the rhythm. And now we're in this power position. From here, we should have most of our weight on our back foot. Then we push off that back foot into the court. And immediately after that, your hip starts to turn. And as this happens, the racket head lags behind slightly and the drop of the racket goes right into the hit. And that's how it happens. Now here's a couple of tips that'll help you. Number one, keep your hands really relaxed and really soft. If you're squeezing the daylights out of the racket, none of this stuff is gonna work. The tension is gonna kill it. So stay really relaxed like you're holding an egg. And number two, as you get better with this, this will all kind of blend into one motion. Okay, but for now, if you're just working on this initially, you might wanna think about each backhand that you hit in that three phase kind of system, okay? Or four if you add the finish, which is the preparation, the backswing, and the forward swing. And as you get better, you can start to blend those together. So Max, I hope that answers your question. The racket drop happens during the forward swing immediately after the hips start to pull into the shot. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you. If you live in a big city, you're going to love this. My friends at E-Tennis League have created a platform where you can schedule free friendly matches, and they have four flex leagues a year, and there's one starting up right now. So if you want to test your skills, you want to go to etennisleague.com or on Instagram at underscore etennisleague. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, click the like button down below. Leave any questions and comments or suggestions on future videos down below. I'll be happy to get to those in the days and weeks ahead. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more lessons. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.